Hey there, freaks and freakettes. I've got a blast from the past right here. This is the HK USP9. And this is the original model that came into the United States around 1993. And this was HK's way of trying to compete with the Glock 17. They were moving from their P7 squeeze cockers to a more simple economical gun with a polymer frame. So let's take a close look at it. All right, pop the magazine out with the ambidextrous magazine release, lock it open. And so what you've got here is pretty standard today. You know, in 2018, a polymer framed steel slide gun, pretty common. In the late 80s, early 90s, it was unique, all right? Uh, so you got a polymer frame. Right here is an ambidextrous magazine release. It's right by the trigger guard. It's not a button, so you can do it with your left thumb, your right thumb, you can do it with your, your finger, what have you. Kind of a smart thing. Uh, what do they have on the other side? Now you see when I cocked it, this is kind of strange because it's not striker fired. This is not like an M&P or a Canic or a Glock. Uh, it's hammer fired. So they still stuck with a traditional hammer fired gun. Now you would work the slide, the hammer would lock back. You have to reach over here this large manual safety lever, push it all the way down hard and it releases the hammer. Now you can put it up for safe the trigger's deactivated or put it down, and what you have is a DASA trigger. This is your traditional double action, single action trigger. So press it, and then it'll cycle, lock back, and then you have single, so DA single. Now, what could you do if you wanted to? If you felt froggy, what you could do is load around, put the safety up, and just carry it like that carry it like a 1911, you draw it, you swipe it, you press the trigger. So uh, yes, HK is, is known for its strange multi-use triggers. Obviously you have a really large slide lock right here. It comes with two polymer magazines that hold 15 rounds a piece, which is kind of strange. If you think about it, you're like, well, if you're competing with the Glock 17, why would you put 15 round mags in it? I don't know, it's HK, they do what they want. Uh, another thing right here that you'll notice is there's a cutout in the slide, but the cutout in the slide is not a universal mount for a flashlight like, a, like the current Glocks. If you wanted to mount a light or a laser light accessory to this gun, you had to get a very specific model that was approved by H&K. So uh, that was one of their proprietary things that they built into the gun. And, and people have said to me, well, why would they do that? Why would H&K make it so you had to use proprietary lights? Because they're H&K and you'll do what they want. How's that sound? So uh, kind of neat. Uh, this is the USP Universal Service Pistol 9. Like I said, this was the original one. This is the original model that came back uh, that came into the United States in the early 1990s, around 93 time frame. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you again real soon.